So here's uh, the chairman, Jim Jordan. Quote, Mr. Weiss has full authority to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. That was your response, Attorney General, to Senator Grassley's question on March 1st, 2023. You just referenced it when Mr. Bishop was questioning you. Only problem is he'd already been turned down by the U.S. Attorney in the District of Columbia, Mr. Graves. So he didn't have full authority, did he? I had an extended conversation with uh, Senator Grassley at the time. We briefly touched on the Section 515 question and how that process went. Um, I, I've my never been suggested. My point's real simple, Mr. Garland. You said he had complete authority, but he'd already been turned down. He, he wanted be. to bring an action in the District of Columbia, and the U.S. Attorney there said, no, you can't. And then you go tell the United States Senate under oath that he has complete authority. I'm going to say again that uh, no one had the authority to turn him down. They could refuse. Uh, to partner with him, they could you not. You can use whatever you, you, language. They, refuse to partner is turning down. Well, it's not the same under a well-known Justice Department practice. Oh, <laughs> just Barney Fife. That's who that guy reminds me of. To do the sitcom motif. Well, here's the truth. Uh, U.S. Attorneys uh, Matthew Graves in D.C. and Martin Estrada in California refused to help David Weiss. Okay. Merrick Garland could have ordered them to help David Weiss. He did not. He did not order them. All right. He had to know they refused to help because it was all over. He had to know. And Garland did nothing. All right. That's not full authority. So Garland's not telling the truth. He goes, oh, well, uh, they can refuse to partner. Uh, it's just garbage. And this is why people think the government's corrupt, because it is. Garland is a corrupt man. It's right on display. And those two sides to that story. He's being deceptive, Garland. Now, I believe Garland. I believe him when he says, I don't know anything. Because he knew from the jump when he took the attorney general job that Hunter Biden was under scrutiny. And he didn't want any part of this radioactive case at all because Biden appointed him to the position of attorney general. So he said, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to know anything. Don't tell me anything. All right. I'm almost 100 percent sure Garland's not lying about that. But here is the final nail. And I couldn't believe the Republicans didn't ask him this. Garland had a sign off on the plea bargain. That was thrown out by the judge. Garland is a former judge. He had to know the clause in the plea agreement, the initial plea agreement that said you, the federal government, cannot prosecute Hunter Biden for any other crimes the rest of his life was never going to fly. Garland had to sign off on that plea. He couldn't recuse himself. That's the final nail in this deceptive man's coffin.